All right, so I'm looking at the other side of my screen right now. Um, I'm in a closed type screen right now, waiting for the first video of the night to upload. And while we talk about that first video, you know, the recap for this week, I want to be talking about conference championships, baby. Um, it's going to be a great Great weekend of games, starting off on Friday night with the Pac-12 championship game where playoff supremacy is on the line with Utah, the number five team, could be number five tomorrow in the college football playoff rankings, and number 13, Oregon. Now, Utah's balanced offense taking on Justin Herbert and the Oregon Ducks. Um... Both these teams have some really good defenses that shine, um, especially Utah. Um, I know Oregon's defense can dominate too, but when they get, but when they get, um, when something happens, when something goes wrong for Oregon, it usually blows up in their face, and it's usually the defense. But other than Utah's one little mishap and Oregon's one mishap against Auburn at the beginning of the season. Both these teams look pretty damn good, all things considered. Now, this could be, this game could go either way, to be completely honest with you. You know, um, Utah is looking to win the Pac-12, go to the playoff, even though, they're, even though their resume is not that great, and I know everybody's arguing about it, but they've just looked like a, they've just looked like a top five team, but they don't have the wins, though. They do not, you know. Um, but if they get this win against Oregon, uh, everything should be a little bit closer to fine. Now, now if Oregon can get this big victory, um, obviously, you know, they'll be going to the Rose Bowl anyway. But, you know, it'll knock the Pac-12 out of the playoff race for good this time. Yeah, remember, we, we all thought... You know, I had a video all the way back in September, the last day of September, where our, where all the Pac-12 teams had a loss, at least. Or, or was it was at the end of October. I don't remember. I don't remember which day it was. But either way, um, then we go to Saturday, and the Saturday slate is just absolutely delicious. First off, let's start with the two games between ranked teams that are at 11 in the morning, or rather 12 o'clock if you or an East Coaster, um, but on Saturday, December the 7th, we have the Sun Belt Championship first off, and we have the Big 12 Championship second off. Now, I'm going to talk about the Sun Belt Championship game first. Appalachian State has looked really, really good this year. Yeah, they had a loss against Georgia Southern on a Thursday night. I believe it was on Halloween, and that was their only loss of the season. But don't, don't count out these raging Cajuns in Louisiana. I don't know where they came from with this 10-win season that they have. You know, the Sun Belt is looking a hell of a lot better than the Conference USA right now. Honestly, I keep saying this each and every time, but Conference USA has basically downgraded to a just the worst conference in college football. You cannot deny it to me. You, you can't say you can't. You can't prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Just say it. Sun Belt teams are playing better than Conference USA teams right now. There's not a there's not a single ranked Conference USA team. I don't think there has been a ranked Conference USA team in a long time. Not since that Marshall team all the way back um, with Rakeem Cato. That was a while back, and they were just so disrespected. It it hurt. It hurt you know. But Appalachian State could sneak away with the group of five bids to the Cotton Bowl if they win this game and if things go their way in these other games, which we'll talk about. Um, but other, but if not, you know, one of these two teams will go to the New Orleans Bowl, which is always a good prize. You know, I like the New Orleans Bowl. That's a good bowl. You know, like the prize for the Sun Belt is to go to New Orleans. What about the what about Conference USA though? I don't know what in the world the bowl tie-ins for Conference USA are. I mean, yeah, Sun Belt bowls are pretty bad, but you know, the goal I think the goal for most Sun Belt teams is to get to New Orleans. 
at this point. <laughs> you know, obviously this whole thing hasn't, you know, like it's completely stayed relevant. <sighs> the whole Connor of Chula Sea versus Sunbelt debate. But we can talk about that on another day. You know, I'm not going to go into that right now. <laughs> so, I mean, there's just a lot of things the Sun Belt is doing that Comfort USA is not. And, it's, and it all goes back to that stupid uh, merger thing that was proposed like a while back. Just a while back. I don't remember what it was, but it was a long time ago. But nonetheless, we do have Baylor versus Oklahoma. Whew, Charlie Brewer. And that Baylor offense, can they can they complete a game this time? Because they had a 28-point lead against Oklahoma, and they squandered it. If Baylor beats Oklahoma, they are probably in the playoff. I guarantee you. If Oklahoma beats Baylor, I guarantee you they're probably in the playoff. You know, you just you just you just love to see it. But, you know. I think, <laughs> but I think the committee, you know, is probably going to look at Baylor and Oklahoma and just be like, you're going to have to, one of you is going to have to beat each other convincingly to get to the playoff because unless, unless Oregon beats Utah, I highly doubt um, that the Big 12 will be participating in the college football playoff this year. But what I really, really am aching for is something that we'll talk about in a few moments, uh, but both these teams have offenses that can do a lot of things. Yeah, Baylor's offense is a little less, but, you know, Oklahoma, you know, their defense still needs some work a little bit. Uh, Baylor's defense has been absolutely magnificent, save for the um, the second half of that Oklahoma game. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this is two teams, two juggernauts of the Big 12, and I'm glad that Baylor is relevant again, you know, after all of things that have happened to them. I'm glad this is going to be um, the conference championship matchup. And it's crazy to think that Oklahoma will take on another team from Texas in the conference championship. Because they've taken on TCU, they've taken on Texas last year, and they're taking on Baylor this year. Somebody else better step it up and, and, and you know, keep Oklahoma off that plane of conference championship. But then we go to all these games clustered at three and two thirty, at two thirty and three p.m. on in the Central Time Zone, which is where I live, and that's three thirty Eastern, four o'clock Eastern. If you want to get all technical and stuff, but first off, we'll talk about the Mountain Mountain West Championship now. Boise State, they do need a victory um, against Hawaii now. Hawaii gets this victory, um, they'll be going to the Las Vegas Bowl, honestly. Um, and as far as Boise State goes, they can either they can either win this game, and you know the um, the whole if the AAC championship goes the way it might go, Boise State if they win and they don't get ranked higher and then the AAC champ. <laughs> And if they don't get ranked higher to the AAC champ, they'll be going to Las Vegas um, for Hawaii. It's either going to be Las Vegas or it's going to be actually Hawaii, to be completely honest. They'll be either going to the Las Vegas Bowl to take on a Pac-12 team or they'll be going to Hawaii to take on BYU. It's it's just, it's just honesty right there. Um, you know? And it's going to be fun. But I won't be watching that game, to be completely honest. Keep your eyes on these two games right here. Keep your eyes on the American Athletic Conference Championship. First off, Memphis has made the championship three straight years. And they'll be taking on Cincinnati this time. Man, this is that going to be fun? Second week in the world, these two teams have played. And, you know, I don't know what in the world... Cincinnati's quarterback situation is, is it going to be Ritter? Is it going to be that other guy that I saw in the game last Friday? I don't remember his name, but Cincinnati's offense has to do something. They have to do something against Memphis's high-powered offense. And that defense can play, too. So can Memphis's special teams, too. They can play. You know, it's going to be 
that game could be another fun American Conference Championship, honestly. And then, you know, the SEC Championship, the most people's highlight of the day, it's going to be our highlight of the day, to be completely honest. You know, what can Georgia do against LSU? What can Georgia's offense specifically do? do against LSU's defense. We know LSU's defense isn't the greatest, but, you know, they only allowed seven points against Texas a and last week, so you never know. Um, but Georgia, if they want to win this game, they got to expose LSU's defense. Otherwise, Joe Burrow is going to go off. And, he's, and if he goes off, it, it might be over. So what's the scenario here? You know, what in the world – would the committee be thinking here? Well, if LSU wins, you know, Georgia's out. Two losses ain't going to cut it, no matter what you think. Um, but if Georgia wins, and it doesn't matter if it's convincing or not, I think the committee, and that's what most people are going to say, I think the committee will will take both Georgia and LSU, thus completely shutting out the Big 12 and the Pac-12. Maybe even the – but uh, uh, hold on. Hold on, we're not going to talk about Clemson yet. But, you know, this game is really about Georgia's offense, the struggling offense. Yeah, they beat Georgia Tech by like 45 last week, but that was Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is bad. They're just, they're just not good. This is a legit team. This is the team that beat Alabama, just curb stomped them for most of that game. Georgia has to do something. They got to do it. If they want this victory, they want to go to the playoff. They gotta, they gotta make an answer for themselves. They gotta make a name for themselves, like it's LSU. And finally, we'll talk about these two games right here. This is going to be very, very interesting. Um, Virginia, the number twenty-two team in the country right now, as far as some polls considered. We don't know what the committee is gonna say yet, but it'll be Virginia taking on. The sleeping juggernaut known as Clemson. The 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 New England Patriots like Clemson right now. Uh, as you know, Trevor Lawrence and you know on company could come up in there and they could destroy Virginia. I'm talking about it probably will not be close, to be completely honest with you. But there's always hope. And Bryce Perkins, Virginia, you know, Rocco Mendehall, and then and the patented BYU system he brings, that BYU air raid-ish type system that he brings to the table. Will it be enough? Will Perkins be enough against Clemson? I don't know, to be completely honest. Virginia's defense has to step it up. Virginia's offense has to step it up. Virginia on special teams has to step it up. They have to to do everything that they need to do. No mistakes, none of that. And if, you, and if Virginia somehow beats Clemson, that that may be it. That may open up a spot for another team. And it could be insanity. Who knows what could happen if Virginia wins. Big if right there. But I'm not counting on it. And most of the country isn't either, aside from Virginia fans and people who don't want Clemson in the playoff. But lastly here, we have Ohio State versus Wisconsin. Ohio State has already beaten the brakes off of Wisconsin. Can Wisconsin stop Justin Fields? Can they stop J.K. Dobbins? Can they keep Chase Young away from Jack Cohn? And Jonathan Taylor. Can Jonathan Taylor run all over the Ohio State defense? Now, there's been some cracks and some holes showing in Ohio State's defense, but, 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 Ohio State's is always preserved. That's why they are arguably the one or two team in the country. I can't say either or. It's going to be either or, to be completely honest with you. Uh, either or works with me. They could be the number one or the number two to be completely honest. You know, they're just they're just that damn good. Ohio State is, but Wisconsin has to keep Ohio State off the field. 
They got to make the best of their drives. And as far as Ohio State is concerned, don't sleep on Wisconsin now. You may be playing them again, but don't sleep on them now. You got to you gotta play to win the game. And the other conference championships, um, um, SWAC championship, um, that'll be Alcorn State taking on Southern. That'll go, That the winner of that game will go on to face North Carolina a and in the Celebration Bowl. We will, or rather I will, I don't know why I keep saying we, but I will be previewing that game, the Celebration Bowl. Um, it'll be the first Saturday game of the bowl season, you know, to be completely honest with you. And it'll decide the FCS HBCU National Championship. Know that's a mouthful, but that's a lot, you know. And it's going to be that game will be fun once again, to be completely honest. Uh, other bowl games that I'm considering Las Vegas Bowl, to be completely honest with you, maybe the only other bowl game that I watch that day, you know. And that that game will be fun. The other, the other kind, of, and maybe the New Orleans Bowl as well. Uh, but the other ones on that Saturday, no, thank you. Um, and then uh, the New Year's Six Bowls, December 28th, and I believe December the 31st, or, and of course the ones on January 1st, obviously. And the, the National Championship. Um, not a, not, I don't watch a lot of bowls, to be completely honest with you. I only watch about a fourth of them. So, and of course, you know, Army Navy is on next Saturday, so, or the Saturday after conference championship. So, of course, we'll be previewing that game. Army is out of bowl contention, so they're just fighting to beat Navy now. And Navy, look at the preserve that ranking. But we'll talk about that game, that one game, and maybe the FCS playoffs. I don't know yet, but we'll figure that out when we get there. But yeah, that's going to do it tonight, y'all. Um, the video is still uploading. It still has about eight minutes left to upload. And it should be there in a few. Um, and this one should be up within the next hour as well. But that's going to do it tonight. Um, we'll talk about the NFL tomorrow. We'll talk about the disappointing, disappointing teams tomorrow and stuff like that. And, yeah, we'll preview the NFL's week 14 and all that good stuff. You know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. We'll, I believe... I'll also try and, you know, get my thoughts in on some IFL, CIF, and NAL schedules and stuff now that the AFL is dead um, and everything like that. So it's going to do it tonight. Y'all take care and, you know, have a good evening. Thank y'all.